Um, service, what's the address of the emergency? Hi, um, I'm not sure. I've just met a man who... What's the address of the please? I am um, on Barclay Road in Westby Park. Barclay Road in Westby Park. Okay. And whereabouts on that road are you? Just um, outside? The, or? the very bottom of the road. Basically, I heard a shouting in my garden. I came out and there's a gentleman shouting for help. Okay. So he's in Barclay Road, Westby Park. Yeah. Bottom of the road. Okay. Bear me a second. Okay. So he's actually in the road. In the road, is he? Yeah, he is. Yeah. Mate, it's okay. Okay, I'm well, right. tell me exactly what's happened. Um, I basically, I was in my garden having a cigarette and I heard a gentleman shouting from a distance away. I went out into my road to investigate and basically he was just shouting for help. And Can you ask him what's happened? I'm not sure what's happened. Excuse me, mate. Excuse me. Hello? Yeah. What's, what's happened, please? Somebody threw acid over his face. Somebody threw acid over his face, apparently. There's acid thrown over his face? Yeah. yeah. Okay, bear me a second. Is the attacker still nearby? Is it, who, who did it to you, please? His, his, his ex. Oh, right, my love. Is she still there? Has, they, has she gone? Is he or she still here? I don't know. He doesn't. On the morning of September 23rd, 2015, in Bristol, United Kingdom, a disturbing incident unfolded. Dr. Nick White was roused by her doorbell and the commotion outside. As she peered through her curtains, she witnessed an unsettling scene. A man in just his underwear, caked in mud, was frantically screaming for help. Initially dismissing it as a prank, Nick soon realised the seriousness of the situation. Thomas Sweet, a neighbour armed with a golf club, joined her. The onlookers discovered that the man, Mark Van Dongen, wasn't a victim of some bizarre prank. His skin was melting. Mark, a 28-year-old engineer from the Netherlands, had moved to the UK for his studies. His tumultuous relationship with Berliner Wallace, a 48-year-old woman, had recently ended. Friends had noticed strange scratches on his body, and he had reported incidents of Berliner pouring boiling water on him as he slept. Fearing for his safety, he left the relationship and found a new girlfriend. Before this, Berliner had researched acid attacks online and purchased concentrated sulfuric acid. She harassed Mark and even threatened suicide if he left her. Mark reported Berliner to the police and confided in his father. Despite these warnings, on the night of September 22nd, he went to Berliner's flat to officially end their relationship. In the early hours of September 23rd, Berliner, in a horrifying act, poured the acid on Mark's face as he slept. In excruciating pain, he ran outside, screaming. Neighbours called for emergency help. Mark, suffering from severe chemical burns, was rushed to the hospital in agony. In transit, with one iris dissolved, informed paramedics about Berliner's involvement and pleaded for a check on his new girlfriend's safety. The police, arriving at Berliner's flat, found her unresponsive to the gravity of her actions. Upon arriving at the hospital, he confronted the brutal reality of his injuries. In a desperate attempt to ease his pain, he was induced into a coma for four months, reliant on a ventilator for breathing. The acid had ravaged his lower left leg to the point of amputation, corroding skin, muscle, and bone. After emerging from the coma, Mark, paralysed from the neck down, faced profound depression. The extent of his injuries was so severe that authorities decided not to release images. Requiring lifelong care, he was placed in a care home in Gloucester in November 2016. However, a single night there, marked by neglect, prompted his family to relocate him. His health deteriorated further, developing a lung infection that led to surgery preventing him from speaking. Faced with unbearable suffering, on January 2nd, 2017, opted for euthanasia, a legal choice in Belgium. His father, witnessing his son's decline, spent precious final moments with him. Berliner's trial in 2018 presented a chilling narrative. Despite overwhelming evidence of premeditation, she claimed Mark's death occurred during euthanasia, not due to her actions. Accusing him of violence, she portrayed the acid attack as a misunderstanding, claiming she thought it was water. Found guilty of throwing acid with intent, she received a 12-year sentence, escaping a murder conviction. A lasting reminder of this tragedy remains in the form of the corroded doorbell that once echoed Mark's desperate cries for help, a poignant symbol of the devastating consequences of acid attacks. Concentrated sulfuric acid onto skin.
get a vigorous reaction between the concentration of sulfuric, sulfuric acid and the water in your skin and also the fats which is why as you can see it instantly becomes carbonized and as you can see that is in seconds what would happen to you if you spilt concentrated sulfuric acid upon your skin